What is going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here. And in terms of my disappearance for the last few days, like, like I said before, a lot of this time is being spent just trying to perfect the gear thing. And I know you've been hearing that excuse for the last three weeks, but there were a few things that I had to put the finishing touch on. Like I got a brand new webcam. I was trying to use my DSLR, the other one that popped itself, as my webcam rather than my um, recording device since it can't record anymore without overheating. But things kind of got a little bit mixed up. Whatever the case may be, no worries. I know I don't really have a lot of your faith at this point. And so, of course, I'm gonna get a lot of skepticism in the comments. I understand that and I embrace that 100%, but I can give you an honest to goodness guarantee at this point now that pretty much all those hardware upgrades are complete and finished. So now we are going to be going back, putting the pedal to the metal, and I'm gonna be doing everything I can to bring you guys the content that you want while at the same time maintaining my income so I don't fucking get kicked out of this bitch. But um, that's the main focus right now. A lot of people thought that I was not being around for the sake of just being lazy, but that has absolutely nothing to do with it. As a matter of fact, if you guys wanna come with me, I'll show you just how serious I've been in upgrading all my fucking gear. You see that fucking mess of boxes right there? You see all this shit? All this shit. Every single box that you see right there, every single package, every single fucking unboxing has been nothing but gear, and not just gear to make me fancy or whatever, or trying to live an elitist lifestyle, but gear to make the production of these videos as smooth as humanly possible. That's what I've been spending my time doing. Some of you may be new to the channel. No, as a matter of fact, there's probably a bunch of you that are new to the channel. A lot of you probably don't understand the basis that I operate from or understand the context of my character or who I've been since day one of my YouTube channel. Well, I'm going to inform you right now. My YouTube channel is based on things that I want to do in the best presentation possible for my income level. That's everything that my YouTube channel is all about. So while some of you may think it's weird that I kind of take time, so much time to be able to just upgrade gear, like what's the point? The point is that that's what I like to do. I like to make sure that I look good on camera, that the barrier between you and me is minimalized to the point where when we communicate, it's a lot easier for you to understand things from my perspective and me to understand yours. That's the reason why I do this shit. All that shit is done though, so we are finally ready to move onward. Anyways, so we have a Splatoon article to talk about today, and we kind of got a little bit off track there, but uh, Splatoon's been getting a whole lot of hype lately. There's a lot of stuff that I've missed out on, of course, but um, the Direct had a whole bunch of news, and don't think that I didn't keep up with it. I definitely did. I apologize for not being able to give a live reaction to any of that stuff, but I saw all the news, I played the test fire. There's a lot of news about Splatoon that's just really hype right now, even considering the shortcomings that the game had in terms of communication with other players online, with the voice chat and whatnot. Let's take a look at this. Nintendo believes it can win over Nintendo fans who have yet to buy a Wii U with Splatoon. This sentence probably sounds like blasphemy to a lot of people, but then again, at the same time, there's also a lot of people that believe that the Wii U can be saved. But right now, I think the Wii U is like a little bit over 10 million sales so far, so the numbers aren't really good, or at least not as expected with Nintendo, considering the Wii U has been out for quite a long time, over two years at this point, I believe. Nintendo UK is confident they'll be able to pull in those Nintendo fans who have yet to purchase a Wii U with its new, oh, here we go. Um, with, with its new colorful IP, Splatoon. So, I mean, to be honest, right now, I feel like Splatoon is going to be a good game, but to be able to save the Wii U, it has to pull in millions of sales. I doubt that. Um, Nintendo UK marketing manager Chandra Nair, <laughs> Nair believes that the game will appeal to those Nintendo fans still on the fence about buying the struggling console and could result in well um, could well result in improved sales for Nintendo's current home console. Whether they will be able to do this remains to be seen, but it certainly will be interesting to watch. And this is another thing, you know, a lot of people do agree that Splatoon is looking hype right now, and I know a couple of other YouTubers that I communicate as well too. They, they're kind of excited about it. I'm excited about it myself too. I had a whole lot of fun with the test fire, so. If you don't own a Wii U, you need one for this game, begins near. And Mario Kart 8, Pikmin 3, Smash, Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, um, Bayonetta 2, Hyrule Warriors, and so on and so forth. All very strong titles on the console. We're targeting Mario Kart 8 and Smash owners, but we're using this opportunity to talk to lapsed Nintendo fans as well. Wii U has a fantastic software lineup and there really is something for everyone. And there are a whole load of non-Wii U owning lapsed Nintendo fans out there who will be tipped over the edge by Splatoon. In the millions? Maybe. But right now, I don't feel like the game... The game does have an identity at this point. It feels like it's a really strong title. Like, it's gonna come out the gate swinging. 
but to be able to capture the attention of people who are still on the fence with getting a Wii U, considering that the stigma out there in mainstream media, and not even just mainstream media, but just personal relations is that the Wii U is kind of done already, I don't know if it's going to be possible to make up, but I do applaud them and give them an A for effort in terms of being enthusiastic about Splatoon and looking at the future in a very optimistic mindset. You know, that, that's, that optimism right there might just make the thing work out. If you don't believe in your own game, then who the hell will? And right now, I believe in Splatoon. Do I believe it to be able to save the Wii U per se and pull in millions of sales to make it catch up for the years that it had just sunken ship type status? I doubt it, but I still think that Splatoon is going to be a great title. I just worry about the, the, I just worry about the engagement. I worry about it reaching enough audiences for people to buy it. It already looks a certain way on the surface and I'm scared that people will judge it ahead of time. Myself even being guilty of that at one point, but we will see what the future holds. And like this article said, not just saying that for, you know, comedic effect or try to just make a cliche statement, but it truly will be interesting to see how Splatoon does when it's released. We will see. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Let me know your opinions. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.